There we go. Hello there. Oh, I'm a little bit too far to one side. Not the side I'm used to being too far on. Well, that's weird. Anyway, hello there. Today, <laughs> as I mentioned, uh, the, the ice cream stand not too far away from here, they do a thing where, hey, if your name is uh, Charles, uh, Chris, or, or Franklin, you get free ice cream. And today was Chris, so I had to go get that free ice cream. But also I had a coupon in my phone for McDonald's. But when I got there, I remembered that I wanted to try a dumb thing that I had heard about, which is ordering a Big Mac, but replacing the meat patties with crispy chicken sandwich patties. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know what? This is the time, I'll try it. And while we were waiting in line, me and Andrew, Andrew's like, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna wait. If they agree to make your nightmare sandwich, I want the same thing. And uh, while we're waiting there, someone walks in and it's an off... off-the-clock employee of McDonald's. They're just popping in because they left their, like, jacket or something the day before. And they saw we were waiting in line, so they went around the counter and they're like, Hey, I'll help you out, you know? I'm not on the clock, but, like, I, I see there's a line. And I was like, ah, oh, cool, can I do this? And they're like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, I've done this before. I, I could do this for you. And, like, he agrees to it. He starts setting up the process. And, like, the manager on scene, like, kind of got to him after the order was submitted and I've already paid. That's already deep in the system. And they're like, we can't do that. That's, like, the components are way more expensive. You know, like, it shouldn't be a thing. It's like, I've already done it. And, and then just, like, left. This person who wasn't even working there at the time just got out. Got out of Dodge. And so I was in. My order was accepted, and Andrew was just like, well, now I can't do it. <laughs> like, I just overheard this whole exchange. I can't be that guy. So, uh, thank you, mysterious employee who literally just walked in off the street, took my bad order that should have been taken, and then left. Though, apparently, some places will do it, other places won't, is what I've heard, and I wanted to check out if my place would. I think it depends on who's working behind the counter. Ooh, giant hands, an eigen rifle, and a railgun. Nice. Simo! Yeah, I poisoned myself, is the short of it. Like, it was delicious. I'm pretty sure it's, like, way more salt than a human being's supposed to consume in, like, a sitting. So I'm probably gonna die and feel sick later, but, like, my breakfast today was, <laughs> was a Big Mac that used chicken patty sandwiches in place of the beef patties and a, a medium peanut butter Oreo ice cream. <laughs> so that's, that's how I started my day. Yeah, yeah, I imagine that's one of those, like, if you want the quesarito at, um, Chipotle. Like, go when it's quiet. Like, it was technically quiet. It's just that there was only, like, two people in the building working at this time of day for some reason. This is, like, what time is it? This is probably close to, like, 3 o'clock, so in between lunch, in between dinner. That was just an ancient Egyptian god of chaos, Isfet. <laughs> It felt like it! Like, this dude just walked in and, and just started taking orders from just me, I guess. And then fucked right off. And then the person who, like, said, you know, my order number, it was the manager. <coughs> <coughs> Clearly unhappy, they're like, 387 and just, like, hawked my bag onto the desk. So, uh, worked out good. Deep fried a breakfast burrito for a guy. Nice. You have a period where you couldn't eat bread in the middle of the night. You were starving, so you sheepishly asked, Can you make a Big Mac without a bun? And they totally made it. That's interesting, because, like, the Big Mac's defining feature is the extra bun in the middle. So... <laughs> so I guess at that point, you're getting, like, the patties and the sauce. Like, that's, that's the distinct Big Mac thing is that sauce. <laughs> uh, I also lucked out in that the person ahead of me was one of those douchebags that ordered uh, fries without salt, which necessitates they make a new batch of fries for you. It's like that classic menu hack that uh, employees hate. And because he was right in front of me, I got fresh as hell fries. A Big Mac salad and gave you a fork. That was nice of them. All right, I've never played this game before. We're just gonna kinda jump in.
Just, just kind of see what happens. The one thing I have to figure out is, uh, finding a comfortable angle for Wazda with my new keyboard. Because it is a new keyboard! It's great! I really like the new keyboard. The only problem is, uh, my armrest has, like, a, a weird curve to it. And it's making, making a weird angle of approach to the keys. But I'll, I'll figure it out as we go. I'll just drag it further this way. And then that way. Uh, I guess we're just gonna pick a place? Experienced players for first time pioneers. Ideal. I mean this looks more tropical. I'm I'm not a tropics kind of guy, you know. But will it last 18 years? I hope so. I got the Logitech um I can tell you the exact model name. Hold on. It's the Logitech hold, hold on. I gotta find the Logitech, uh, hub real fast. Alright, I got the Logitech G213 keyboard. G213. The Logitech- hold on, hold on a minute. Just hold on. 50% chance your wishes are ignored. Why would you get a burger without cheese? Uh, start. Session needs to be named? Where do I name session? Yo, poop mines. It's a very nice keyboard. Ah, lactose intolerant, Katase? I'm the opposite. If there's no cheese on there, I'll, I'll become angry. I rate. Just the thought of not having cheese on something, it makes me angry. Do you know how much cheese we have underground here in the United States? We have to eat this cheese! We keep on bailing out the dairy farmers, and we keep on just storing more cheese underground. The Wisconsin cheese caves are not a myth! This is a weird joke. Yeah, I'm unlactose intolerant. I often get burgers without pickles or onions, and more often than not, it never happens. I, I always ask for no raw onions. I hate raw onions. Cheese caves are legends. They're real, Taco. Real. Apparently, like, we just keep on storing cheese underground. Why does everyone suddenly know about the cheese caves? <laughs> I will not tolerate this cheese not being eaten. Try to remember who told me about the cheese caves. I want to blame Tom. But I'm not sure if that's true. Oh, oh, let me out. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Teach me. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. All political factions could agree, Shout fuck the, the cheese caves. gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. I want to lower the volume. It, found it, it sounded fine right until I started the game. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. I don't know if I should be in this corner or not. That's ah. it. Get to work and be effective. Morning. I'm actually part of the, the unwork subreddit, anti-work. Full procedure. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. No. Uh, uh. Ah, there we go. Sixty-nine. Nice. Are there subtitles? I'll worry about that later. Really? It's too quiet? Oh, 
Titanfall complete. How's that? Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration <clears throat> suit is at 100%. <laughs> Just gave you a chicken sandwich and said blue. I I absolutely despise Burger King, so I'm not surprised. All right, how's 75 sound? This good? 80? All right, I'll bring it up. I've gotten Welcome sick after eating Burger King twice. A B B, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akicha. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as Whee! you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note, objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. What a lush alien Next world. Objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. It's only fast food place no, with a veggie burger. I imagine that will change as we go forward. Efficient. We do not waste. I feel like more uh, unmeat options are going to be uh, available more frequently in the future with the success of the impossible burger and all that fun stuff. Can't remember if it was impossible or beyond. One of them is better than the other. I tried both. Better settings menu idea. Instead of boring old volume sliders, new and fun random number generator buttons for volume. See, that's what I'm all about. Roll dice. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, KFC has their, their unchicken. What do you want from me? You're telling me to come here. <gasps> Dismantle it. Cool. All right, now what do you want me to do? Complete the onboarding process. Press F to enter. All important fixed oh, I've done that. And communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Yeah, I imagine it was just like the BK I've experienced were bad BKs. But because I had that experience, fuck Burger King. All tutorials, messages, and emails will be saved to the codex. Press Q. No, not Q. Oh. Cool. Now what? Second I'm objective. Get me Please some nuts ensure here. you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Press tab. There you go. <laughs> it's like a zapper, but I just jab Please with it. Familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. My arm disappears Note, for a few frames there. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Weird. Taco Bell is, like, the best dollar-to-food value you can get in fast food. In my opinion. V to scan. Alright. 420, 200, 300. <gasps> These are close. Wow. Yeah, I, I think Taco Bell is probably my favorite of the fast foods as well. Yeah, no, Taco Bell's great. Yeah, we do have a good Taco Bell nearby. I'm sure the cholesterol will. Well, what? Fourth objective. <laughs> Build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Hey! Mission. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Rude! Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. 
You say Taco Bell's vile? I mean, if you have... If you're in California or someplace that has, like, truly excellent and affordable Mexican food, obviously you have better options than Taco Bell. But if you're in Western Massachusetts like I am, Taco Bell is pretty great. Uh, the hub is best built near Iron Nodes in the build menu. Parsing Q. I could do that. Pretty sure no one thinks they're getting Mexican food when they go to Taco Bell. Not really competing. You know, that's a good point. Like, I just straight up, I enjoy Taco Bell. I think it's good. Alright, we don't want to put it on the iron, but like near the iron, I guess. What are your limitations? How, how flat do you need to be? Pretty flat. You know what? Right there. If I ask myself where I should go get tacos, Taco Bell's real far down. I mean, I'm gonna be straight with you. I never get tacos at Taco Bell. Like, Congratulations. Never. You have unlocked hub feature, manual craft bench, hub feature, hub terminal. Hub Fifth feature. Objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Hello. When I go to Taco Bell, I'm not getting tacos. I'm getting like crunch wraps or gorditas or or whatever wacky new thing is on the menu. What do you want from me? You want I'll I'll, I'll select this. You want a whole bunch of iron rods. I mean, who doesn't? Just drags on forever. Chicken quesadilla with extra jalapeno sauce, also delicious. <clears throat> Like, I got a lot of burrito-type things there. I always say, like, horrible old people talk about. Aw, oh, you look friendly. I don't think I need to tase you. Iron rods. Input is... Iron ingots. Iron ingots. Your input is... Iron ore. Cool. You want ten of them. Alright, I need a little bit more. The word iron's gonna come up a lot. <laughs> you just got the bean burrito. No sauce or onions or cheese. They were like 90 cents. You can get a bunch. Yeah, like I said, really easy and cheap Taco Bell. It's great. When you mentioned Bean Burrito, I did have a flashback to uh, one of my worst Taco Bell experiences. Which is, I went... I went to Ta- Ah, oh, Mighty Odin, what's going on? I went to Taco Bell. And I had a mobile order submitted, right? They called Chris, and I walked up and I grabbed a bag and I left. And when I got home, I discovered that there must have been another Chris with a mobile order. Because this person ordered a Bean Burrito with just beans in it. So it was just- it was just... Refried beans in tube shape. The only other ingredient in there was a bunch of raw onions. It was like custom designed to make me want to die. Like, I love refried beans. I like beans in general. Beans are great. Delicious food. I despise raw onions, so it was just like a tube of awful for me. I guess whoever it was. Yeah, nacho fries are great. God, like what a gross thing to make though. Just a tube of beans and onions. <laughs> ah, yeah, the the uh, the Holy Trinity, Cthulhu. The Holy Trinity. Yeah, the chicken taquitos were good. Raw onions are great in Mexican food. I dislike raw onions in anything. Just period. I don't like raw onions. The texture of raw onions is what I don't like. Like, the flavor of onion is great. I like the taste of onion. I just don't like the texture of raw onion. It has like that cellophane -y experience to it. Yeah, don't order the tube of awful at the secret menu. Like I said, someone with my name did this to me. It's their fault. Mexican food changed your mind? Really? There was, as a textural thing? I don't like that cellophane. 
How do I put these in? Here you go. I did it. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop equipment portable miner inventory additional slots hub feature personal storage six yeah taco notes complete hub upgrade two note portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full note multiple portable miners can be used on a single node cool Oh, we did it? That's the whole game? Alright, let's pack it in. Really, really early access, I guess. Yeah, like, the texture of raw onion is not for me. Like, you say good onions are naturally crisp. It's not crisp that's the problem. It's like that cellophane aspect of crisp. Like, an apple can be crisp, but an onion, because of, like, the layer experience and how their cell walls are lined up, that's less crisp and more, like, squeaky almost. I don't like it. Enough of me. Store everything, I don't know. Alright, what's next? Do I dare start talking about it? Grilled onions are great! Fucking love grilled onions. I love sautéed onions, fried onions. You cook an onion, I enjoy it. If that onion is fresh from the fucking earth, it's garbage to me. Hello there. Lave, what's up? The UI design in this game is superb. Ah, it's very pleasant so far. I am covering up something. I might want to move my, my face over a little bit. We All right, there we go. I'll hang out over here. A little bit of the metal-ish, you know? Ew, onions, yeah. Ew, onions. Like, I enjoy a nice grilled onion, sautéed onion. Caramelized onions. I mean, they take a while, but they're delicious. Ah, allergic to onions. Fair. I've heard. I've heard Satisfactory is a good game. So far, it's quite pleasant. Like, this is the kind of thing that I don't necessarily see myself wanting to stream. It's the kind of thing I could see myself really wanting to, like, just kind of zone out and have a nice, pleasant time. Like, I could play games like this for hours because... I just kind of quietly get sucked into the experience of it. Like Terraria. Like, Terraria is a game where I could just quietly just dig underground for, like, 15 hours and not notice it. Alright, we want 20 of these guys, and we're gonna want some plate. That seems doable. Ah! Doctor, close enough! What's going on? Thank you for that little raid. What are you doing? Where are you playing? Your royal gayness. Is that a dating sim? The deck near is in. How's it going? Configure craft bench? No, no, no. All right. Some of this text is overlapping on the left, which is making it hard to read. The equipment workshop is used to craft equipment like the portable miner. All right. Equipment workbench. Or workshop. Workshop. You're my equipment workshop, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Equipment workshop, that's what we want. Oh, you need stuff. I need iron plate and iron rod, okay. Take all. Let's grab more iron. If folks are interested, I would... I'd be down to do a Stanley Parable in the not-too-distant future. A sim game with a kingdom manager? <laughs> with all the gay? Sounds good. Like, Stanley Parable, I haven't played that game since it was, you know, a new experience, but it was a really fun game. Ding, ding, ding. Ding ding ding, ding ding ding, ding ding ding, ding ding ding. All right. Ah, uh, nice low gravity here. Right, I'm gonna need some of these iron plates. Well, first we're gonna need a lot of iron ingots. Wait, 
Yeah, I think Stanley Parable will be a fun stream. We're gonna need, what was it, 10? Alright, I got, I got a couple of those now. Now I need some of these. Is that good? You happy now? Do, 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 do. Oh! I don't like being inside stuff. Can I rotate you? Oh, I can. It's kind of... Alright. Oh, what am I doing? Alright, I got the equipment workshop. Portable miner. Raft? Oh, I might as well make two of them. Boom, boom, boom. Brown, brown, brown. For days without a low effort, yeah. Multiplayer good because you divide up tasks. I'm just looking to kind of mess around, have a nice time for a little bit. Not really looking to do any mega projects at the moment. But we could put together... Like, what what kind of multiplayer game is this? Is this the kind of thing where we put together a static server that people could pop into at all times? Or is it session-based? Finds hard drives. Come on. You just wait for them to go on sale. Hard drives are still cheap, thankfully. Oh. Okay. Mine for me. Oh, you're doing fine work. Glad Chia never took off? Like, Chia pets? Oh, it's like pie. Well, that's a lot of gay. I love you too, debuff. The game says it's a consistent world. But like... On a computer. Like, I would need to keep this session running at all times? Or does it exist on a server that the game owns somewhere? You know what I mean? Okay. If I open the portable miner. Oh, it's doing good work. I'll just kind of let you do your thing for a little while. Oh, so it needs to be like an active thing. I see. Let's hope it was more like a Chia coin. It was proof of storage. Oh, yeah, I'm glad that never took off, yeah. I see. So less of a, like, we could make a... a Minecraft server type thing, and more of a... whenever I'm playing, people could pop in. So that'd be frustrating for everyone, I think, because I'm not going to be in here all that often, I don't think. <sighs> How do I use the toaster? Like, I got a Hot Pocket. How do I pop that in there? That's clearly an oven. I wanna- I wanna cook a Hot Pocket. Portable Miner. Can we place it on nearby node? Trying to read the overlapping text. Probably- that- that line of text probably doesn't matter. Buildings can be dismantled without any loss of resources. Also true. I've been watching this game for 30 minutes, so I have no idea why anything. Well, we just got a... 
collect things, build stuff, and just consistently make it more complicated as we go. Because my goal is to just make garbage that makes people angry. Highly inefficient. If I turn on multiplayer, all you bastards are going to make it work right. And that's, that's against the rules. We don't want any of that. Alright, 20 and 10. That's easy enough. Well, I guess first, all of these. I do want to play Factorio. I keep on waiting for it to go on sale, but I think as a policy, that game will never go on sale. <coughs> I mean, who doesn't like trains, right, my dude? We're Space Amazon. We're an employee of Space Amazon. Yeah, it's a very rare occurrence for Factorio to see a sale, and it's always a very small sale. Which, you know, good for them. Like, if they could afford to not ever put their thing on sale like that, go for it. Double tap space bar to hold that craft button down. Oh, I should try that out. It works! Forgot how many of each of these I need. Probably enough of those. And now I'm probably short on, on rods. Shit. How many rods do you want? 20 rods, 10. Yeah, no. Hey, miner. New keyboard feels really nice, I gotta say. It does have a lot of functionality for lights. Like, I can make my keyboard pulse, breathe, uh, cycle through colors. I can have it match the color scheme of whatever's on screen. Like, as I move, it'll change the colors. I can make it pulse to music. Like, features that I probably will never use. So instead, I just have it set to deep red because deep red is the easiest on the, on the eyeballs. It's great. I recommend it so far. Like, it's only been a day. Uh, we should check back in a little while. But so far, the Logitech G213 is quite nice. But any more of these guys? Well, I guess first this. <laughs> Reflect CPU temperature? Oh, God. I mean, that's kind of an interesting idea, you know? That's also partially why I'm less interested in, like, really starting a dedicated playthrough of this game, because I might just, I just, I like waiting for a full release before I really sink into something. Otherwise, I burn out on it before I'm done with it. The exception being, like, Caves of Cud with its roguelike uh, systems. All right, all right, all right, you calm down. That's enough of this. That's been okay. Got myself a roof. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay. Yeah, like, it seems playable and I've definitely watched people play it before. Uh, let's game it out, most notably is my inspiration for it's not even my inspiration. Like, I, I really... He's a man after my own heart at Let's Game It Out, where it's like, oh, a game about automation? Destroy the concept of automation. Like, least efficient path is the only path. Like, that's how I like playing games, so I really resonate with how he plays. But yeah, like, I've been waiting for um, 
Rogue Legacy 2 for like two years now to come out. And it comes out of early access uh, tomorrow. So like on Sunday, I plan on doing some uh, Rogue Legacy 2. Yeah, no, I love... Josh is willing to like make his computer bleed and I appreciate that. Reinforced iron plate, just a bucket of screws, concrete, power poles, all kinds of stuff. Rogue Legacy was your first ever roguelike. It's really fun. Like, I really like Rogue Legacy. Alright, you would like, uh, 20 of these. 20 of these. And some, uh, wire. Constructor craft bench. Wire requires copper ingots. Copper? Hundred and sixty. Three hundred, four hundred, hundred and seventy. Hundred and seventy is the one. Seven hundred years. <laughs> Wait, did I pass the copper already? Oh, it goes away after a second, huh? Alright, 97. Just keep going in a straight line, nothing to worry about. <clears throat> I mean, Rogue Legacy is probably fairly early for me as well. You son of a bitch! Wait, who am I saying this to? There you are. Hold on, I'm trying to remember how I take out my weapon. You're gonna get it when I figure this button out again. It's a flashlight. Mmm, that's right, the Flash version of Binding of Isaac. It's between that and the Flash version of Spelunky for me, I think. Bacon shrooms are bullshit. Tap? There we go. Alright, asshole! That's right. Better run. Mad at the Binding of Isaac? Not coming back, is he? Alright, get me my copper. Asshole! Oh my god. Okay. I don't know the buttons yet. Hold on. I gotta equip my, my stupid stun gun, and this time I'm killing you. Yeah, roar away! You just wait! I'm coming! That's V. What we got here? Flashlight, hammer... I just had my inventory open and now I don't remember how I got there. Just wait until I get the chainsaw. And then I could like chainsaw my own legs off by mistake, because that's the route we're going so far. You asshole. Get up there. Oh, 
Oh, the difficulty jump was uh, significant with some of the binding of Isaac updates that happened. Hold on. Key bindings. R? I've been pressing R, you. Tab. Why does this keep leaving my hands? I didn't just throw that on the floor, did I? Yeah, I threw it on the floor. Oh my god. You could have just kept walking! This didn't have to happen! Fuck you! God damn it. What's the quick select for your weapon button? Can I like assign a button to it? Equipment shortcuts, number five for, for this. Number five is not actually doing anything for that. Oh my god. Eat the nut, just eat it. Alright. Miner? Alright, get back to work. You like the last DLC, but it's too hard for you? Candy canes do damage? I'll keep that in mind. I got excited by all the updates that happened in Binding of Isaac, and I played a little bit, and then I kind of fell off. Part of me still wants to go back and, and uh, unlock more stuff in there, but... I do agree. The balancing seems a little bit more... More geared for challenge and less geared for fun. And, like, I really like Binding of Isaac for the wackiness, for the most part. Like, my favorite part of Binding of Isaac has always been the... I've been playing for 10 minutes and my character is this horrifying blob of sprites overlapping each other and just look at the screen and his colors go burr! And that's... That's always the best part. Now it's a little bit more... more challenge oriented, which again, is fine. You like Gungeon more than Isaac? I like Isaac more, well, I liked, again, I think the updates really took a little bit of that away, but... Like, I really enjoyed how frenetic and interesting and how quickly things got weird in Isaac. Whereas Gungeon... The first, like, 20 minutes of every Gungeon run are very samey for me. Whereas Isaac, like, things get pretty interesting pretty fast. It takes a while for Gungeon to be like, yeah, this is a very distinct run. Yeah, I want it to be less like Gungeon. I want Isaac to be like Isaac. Gameplay-wise, I like... I think Gungeon is a lot tighter and feels better. But that's about it. There's a danger when a dev listens to the active community too much. Those players constantly say the game is too easy, and the vast majority of players aren't like that. And that's what's happened to Project Zomboid. Like, I've been not playing Zomboid as I wait for it to, like, get further along in development, and now I'm worried. <laughs> Maybe I should get in there sooner. Alright, alright, that's probably enough wire. There you go.
Congratulations. You have unlocked Skyler feature, Limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Iron plate! Objective. Complete hub upgrade 4. Note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. It's almost cartoonishly hard. Interesting. I'm able to set items on the quick bar by opening inventory and hovering the item, then pressing the number you want. Ah, scroll wheel is what I keep trying. Like, I, I come from that era of video games where it's like, I could quick swap. I just want to scroll my wheel, though. I'm a real lazy gamer. <coughs> and I was, I was there for those wild interactions. I, I see him like, that's always what I wanted. Scroll wheel because available and I have more hand slots. I see, I see. So no no scroll wheel for us yet, but one day. Alright, how much of everything you want? You want 75 plates, 20 cable, 10 concrete. Concrete, what do I need? Limestone. If I could start right after coal power, I'd be fine. I agree, Morgana. Like, I the parts of Isaac that I really enjoyed were the parts that got weirdly enough ironed out it's a uh, it's a bit disappointing motherfucker come here fuck you fuck you honestly i could do without enemies in a game like this like i don't i don't care for combat i just i just want to have a nice little like walk around good time i should have made another auto miner what was i doing no! I have to go back to that little work shed shop thing. Wait until I find the parents of those things. Well, Factorio is presented less like this and more like a top-down real-time strategy looking experience. And at that point, I'm like, I understand. Like, that's that's the experience I'm signing up for. I honestly didn't even know there was combat in this game. When I watch the Let's Game It Up videos, I think he just edits out combat entirely. <laughs> There's math in this game? Oh, fuck this game. I'm turning this off now. Oh, I need more pipes. do do is there a game mode where you can just turn off uh, monsters? Just remove the combat entirely? This is gonna sound like a weird thing to say, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The monsters almost strike me as being like busy work in a game that is about a different kind of busy work, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here to do the busy work of mining and the busy work of automation. And that's, like, the point of the game. And I'm excited for that kind of stuff. Yeah, they exist to complicate the finding of new things. Like, I totally get why they exist. From a design standpoint, I really don't see a problem with them. This is really just me going like, Ugh, oh, they're interrupting my flow. They're a barrier, yeah. Ah. 
Do 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 ba da ba. Here you go, buddy. Another game that we need to go back to at some point is uh, Terraforming Mars. Not Terraforming Mars, sorry, that's another game that got added to like, Game Pass recently. Uh, Dyson Sphere Pro uh, Program. Like, that's a fun little automation game that we only... only peeked at, really didn't get too deep into. Spinny McSpittersons can die in a fart cloud. Well, I guess you left behind your shell. I'll take that. I don't know why these things are really in insistent on guarding the limestone patches. But hey, they do them. Can you craft binoculars? I hope you can craft binoculars. Boo-boo-ba-doo-boo-ba-boo. I'll let this go for a few minutes more longer. Maybe I'll go visit my other auto miners and collect their their contents, and then by the time I get back, this one should be full and ready for me to uh, harvest. Is there a way for me to make? So I have hub here. Shows up in my my compass. Is there a way for me to add more uh, compass waypoints? That way I remember where my copper is. I don't know what I'm gonna use all these trees for, but unless we press E on them. You can build beacons, alright. I've already lost track of where my copper was. There it is. That's probably the stuff. Uh, I never have too many nuts. Grab some more nuts. Some Sam ore, so I can make some Sams. Copper? Samurai doesn't have use yet. <coughs> oh, it stands for Strange Alien Metal, I see. Alright, thank you. Get back to work. And now to the limestone. I should probably eat more, eat more nut. Should probably eat a lot more nut. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. <coughs> You're not done yet? Ah, good enough. Was that a click 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 of a radiation meter? You see interesting geographical features. Usually something interesting to find there. Good to know. 
Like this big arch over here. Ugh. Make me some concrete. How much concrete did you want? 75! Oh, you know, a lot more iron plate. Clang, 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 clang. Put like 20 something in there before. Once it says we could make around 60 on this, that's probably where we'll be safe to just switch over. I could already automate this stuff, you say? Ah, if we could build smelters, then yeah, we should probably make some smelters. Some smelters. Congratulations, you have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Nine wow, I didn't, didn't have it <laughs> conveyor belts Note, until just now. Portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. All right, now we can make conveyor belts. Power line, power pole. Constructor. Pass one part into another part. Schmeltor. So the auto miners can't feed into this at the moment. I imagine we get a better auto miner. Probably in the next. Miner Mark 1. Normal extraction rate 60, up it's all onto conveyor belt. So yeah, this is what we need if we want to start doing some good stuff. Uh, I would select this milestone, please. All right, we need uh, 75 of these bad boys. I need 20 of these. All right, let's start this process up. So close. So close to 20. I already forgot. All right. 50 cables, 75 poles. Click on special. Hold on. Special. The hub. You always associate orange with output because of Minecraft mods. <laughs> Thankfully, I have no such uh, preconceived nonsense. Having played very little of anything past alpha version Minecraft. I can make 38 cable. I already have six. One more hub and then I can finally start crapping out a bunch of fucking conveyor belts which is all I ever want ding 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 I gotta need some more iron for the iron rods It'll be easy to do the cable though. I already have enough of everything. I take it I can't have this do this for me when I walk away. 
That's what the constructors are for. We need those constructors to be doing this. Well, soon we'll have the necessary components. Bing, 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 bing. Was it 50 cable or was it 75 cable? Let's let's check again. 50 cable. All right, we're going for cable. I need more iron. Iron's close by. Give me. We'll get that limestone. Oh yeah, it's right up there. Look at that. I love this overlapping text on my to-do list. What's it trying to say to me? Automate resource transportation between bu buildings, buildings? The absolute dumbest thing about this game is that biofuels are non-renewable and fossil fuels are. That's... Backwards, though. <laughs> Why would they do it that way? That's real weird. <laughs> you also didn't notice that for a long time? Because making trees grow is hard. I feel like you could do that as, like, a timer-based thing whenever the character is, like, not paying attention. Like, all right, it's been an hour, they're not on the screen, just have a, a full-grown tree just spawn here now. Bing, 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 bing. Oh! I saw everything, everywhere, all at once yesterday. That movie is phenomenal. Excellent movie, incredible movie. Highly recommend you see it if you have the opportunity. Fucking great ass movie. <coughs> A very good movie. It's one of those movies that, that bucks the three act structure, or at least a conventional three act structure. And so Watching it, there's a, there's almost a dreamlike quality to a lot of it because you don't have that foundation that you're used to in, in a movie. But there's also a very solid emotional character, character arc going throughout the entire thing that drives the action and the plot. <coughs> and so that keeps you dry, grounded. <coughs> the movie is everything, everywhere, all at once. It's just a phenomenal movie. Do it! Craft me more of these. Alright, I'm done with those now. Craft more of these! But very creative movie, very fun movie. Congratulations, you Thank have you. unlocked building miner mark one building storage container hub feature additional biomass burner Tenth objective complete hub upgrade six note. There are no notes I'm gonna need enough to make Three of these to start with. There are these old, two old anime movies that I absolutely love, but it's rare you find people who know about them. Vampire Hunter D, classic movie. Vampire Hunter D is amazing, phenomenal film. You definitely are in the right place to find people that are familiar with more of that kind of stuff, Blue. 
but I love Vampire Hunter D. What's the other one? Ninja Scroll? Is it going to be Ninja Scroll? Often when people bring up Vampire Hunter D, Ninja Scroll comes up. They have a very similar uh, vibe to them in terms of the encounters throughout the movie. Very different movies, mind you. But just like the, the hyper-stylized and unique enemy encounters that uh, populate both of them, they, they occupy a very similar part of my brain. Oh, the two Vampire Hunter D movies. Oh. I've definitely seen Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust. I think I saw the other one, but I'm not 100% sure if it's not Bloodlust. Watch the latest Moon Knight. I haven't seen the newest uh, Moon Knight episode. Because uh, that's a Wednesday show, so I usually watch that after stream. Speaking of, I'll probably post it. I'll probably watch it in the Discord later tonight. Uh, I got the concrete I needed. Moon Knight's growing on you? It's been good so far. <laughs> I also need I need more of these, right? Yeah, I need <sighs> Ah, poopies I need iron rods Metropolis is great. I haven't seen Metropolis in years. I saw the anime movie Metropolis before I knew about the live action movie that also has the name Metropolis. No relation, by the way. Those are unrelated movies. They're just both called Metropolis. Alright, I have two in my inventory. I have th three in my inventory. What? Hey. Carry on, what's going on? What was I doing right? Okay, it's time to start thinking about What is happening? Oh, that was weird. Anyway, I want to start building things like miners. So we need concrete, auto miners, iron plates. So we need to have enough for three of these to be built. I have enough concrete, I have enough auto miners, I need 30 metal sheet. Or rather, iron plate. 30 of these. Oh yeah, Metropolis is a very old, a very old movie. I just happened to see the anime first. Oh, it's today years old when I found out there's a live action movie called Metropolis. It's, it's an old movie. We're five years off the 100th anniversary. It's an old movie. Like, I saw Metropolis before I got to college. Then I got to college and, like, I took enough film classes that I really started learning a lot more about, like, older movies I didn't see, so I saw Metropolis in in one of my film classes. I don't remember which one, though. It definitely wasn't contemporary cinema, that's for fucking sure. It wasn't screen comedy. I might have been the one that was, like, a visual history of, like, effects. That might have been the one. When you're in the build menu, you can use the plus and minus buttons on the items to queue them up. Oh, that'll be helpful. 